equity is the owner's right to the resources of a business. And the equity of an organization is essentially its net worth. If a corporation has $100 in cash, the liabilities section of the balance sheet will show how much of that $100 was received from creditors. And the equity section will show how much of that $100 belongs to the owners. For this reason, equity is calculated as the difference between the assets and the liabilities. There is a technical difference between owners of a corporation and owners of other types of entities. Since only a corporation can issue stock, the equity holders of a corporation are known as stockholders. For this reason, the equity section of the balance sheet of a corporation is referred to as the stockholder's equity. Stockholder's equity is made up of two things, contributed capital and retained earnings. Contributed capital is the capital the stockholders paid into the company. This amount includes the par value of the shares themselves, as well as any additional amount in excess of par value. The par value of the stock is a nominal value in dollars that is assigned to each share of stock on the stock certificate. Retained earnings includes all of the undistributed net income that a corporation has earned over its life. Each time net income is earned, the company can choose to pay that out as dividend or retain it. It could also choose to pay out some portion and retain some portion. The accumulation of retained income gives retained earnings. These earnings are available to reinvest in the organization's core business, pay off creditors, or pay dividends later on. Net income from each period increases retained earnings, while net losses and dividends decrease retained earnings. The retained earnings account is an equity account, therefore, it carries a normal credit right side balance. In most cases, retained earnings will have a net credit balance because of income generated by a company. A net debit balance in the retained earnings account represents a deficit. This can happen if a company has experienced net losses on a continuous basis. When a deficit exists, the retained earnings of the corporation are deducted from the contributed capital to arrive at the total stockholder's equity. A dividend is a distribution of the corporation's earnings in the form of cash, stock, or property to the stockholders as voted by the board of directors. Dividends decrease the retained earnings account. Because the retained earnings account carries a net credit balance, the balance for dividends is a debit. For this reason, dividends are considered a contra-equity account because they decrease equity.